Hello, viewers. Welcome to Celebrity Friday on Your View. I am Osa Yua Mesale, and with me are my ever gorgeous ladies in the house. We have YK in the building. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Why are you looking so beautiful this morning, though? Thank you. I'm in black yeah, today yeah, because black. I told you a friend yeah. died, so I have to go for the burial. the burial. Yes, oh, and it was a very so sad. sad death. So, so that's so why I'm wearing black today. So my mom I'm, is actually even traveling to Abuja today. She's she lost um, one of our family friends mm. too. But you people in the makeup room, you make me really worried now. That yeah, my because black it's is looking too very beautiful. Actually, YK is glamorous. No matter whatever the situation, even when she's mourning. She's glamorous. It's just, it's, it's in your blood, you know. You can't help it. That's it's, in the, blood. it's yeah. in the blood. <laughs> Only if they saw how you dressed to your ex-husband's burial, they would have understood that when you're mourning, you're still bright. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing? Jumzo. <laughs> Hello, Hi. Jumzo. Yo, how, how are you doing? doing? Yo, any problems? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. I'm good, though. I ah, love your dress, so you look beautiful. Thank you very much. I don't know why people just worry so much about what I wear, uh, how my hair uh, is, <laughs> what my makeup is like. Because we love you, that's why we worry. I agree, but let's focus on the real deal. Okay, ma. The things that are really Funny. important. Fun she's saying this you? because she has actually, she, you were the one that was really, really conscious <laughs> about your dress. And then we got used to knowing that you're conscious about your dress and we help you. But Mariah, we're not bothered about her much because we know that she doesn't bother about dresses. I'm very good. How I woke up this one, I was wondering, Oh, what am I going to wear? What am I going to wear? My mom, I just saw my mom's, um, the rapper and the gilly is my mom's. She has like a double gilly in the house. And I just thought of, oh, let me just combine oh, these little dresses really nice together. I said, if she sees me on TV, she'll be like, ah, Omo, ye, you've taken my dress again. <laughs> anyway, it happens. All it's right, very we, nice. Mothers, we, daughters are supposed to take their mother's clothes. Really? Yeah. Except you. <laughs> we have a news mentioned this morning. Um, the Lagos State Government, yes, they alerted residents of the state on new tactics that arm robbers have device to rob. According to the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Mr. Habib Aruna, the state government said robbers now render their prospective victims unconscious through rubbing a perfume handkerchief on their faces before robbing them. So let's be on an alert and be watchful. I heard this yesterday and I was saying, ah, ah, this thing has been, yeah, we've seen you know, movies. we've heard, not even movies, we've heard it, you know, a long time ago. So apparently it's coming back again. So people need to be watchful because they said the areas are like, uh, like lonely places, mm. you know, and then they said loan buses or taxis yeah. or in uh, quiet areas yeah. you must be careful of strangers walking around you yeah. they don't know what the perfumed handkerchiefs contain for now yes. they just know that people lose consciousness and then they're robbed, they are robbed so yes. people should just please be, be more, watchful yeah all right so that's all we can take on the banter when we return we go through the front uh, front pages of the newspaper please stay with us we'll be right back All right, we're back. Welcome. Uh, we start with the punch this morning. Major headline: Unpaid salaries. Bank extends loan repayment period for states. NEC asks governors to cut costs. Naira falls to 244 against dollar. Governors express concern. Prosecute any corrupt member. PDP tells Buhari. Federal government takes over Yola Electricity firm from investors. Buhari will limit probe to Jonathan's government, says presidency. And finally, NNPC, engine room of corruption. Saraki is speaking. Okay. Well. And now Saraki is saying that uh, NNPC is engine room of corruption. What of saying it? That they earn times 30 <laughs> of what the president earns. And then their allowances are fat, fat, fat. And then they're the ones who had all the no, but did you read the article? that share contracts. I what, did, what did he state in the article? Uh, he was talking, don't, don't we all know that NNPC is a basket where they milk all our resources? Is he saying something that is new? I beg you. We should focus on the right things. Like President the dollar, Buhari. Like the dollar increase. <laughs> Seriously, I said it yesterday. And now it's making uh, the front, front page, page yeah. you know, because businesses were, were, were an import-based economy yeah. every everything comes in imported businesses survive based on expecting importation mm. buying dollars regularly mm. so the prices of products are skyrocketing i have um 
customers that want to buy specific eyeshadow palettes from me and when I calculated it, I was selling for 8K. I can't even much. sell for 12K and I asked them now and they say, ah, if it's over 10, I can't buy. So that means some stream of income cuts down. People will resort to um, crime one way or the other. The economy no, is too I, important. I, I feel the Senate should I focus think... on the economy and stop fighting uh, themselves uh, who takes one position or the other. Okay. Apart from that, I think one of the things that is the problem of Nigeria is the fact that we import everything. Yes. We have to be a less... Uh, we, we have to import less yeah. and deal with locally made products. Because True. even makeup that you're talking about, now they make it in Nigeria. There are about two companies I know that make makeup yeah, in we Nigeria. Can't, we can't mention their names. Those brands are importing. They are local brands producing abroad, importing into the country. The process of trans transforming our country into an exporting that nation to, uh, is not a twinkle of an eye. Uh, you need to process it. You need to plan it. Power needs to be resolved properly. But I think we need I to go with why case I know this is the lasting problem. This is the lasting solution. on the bright side that this should actually spur us to, to start producing yes, locally so we don't depend okay. on because once we start stop imports. depending on the dollar automatically it will fall down that's all right it will fall down and that's because what there's no demand exactly it's because <laughs> the demand is there <laughs> because we are importing matches so uh, we are importing two toothpicks speak. yeah that is, i mean that's no. really sad so let's move on to our next paper um the nation okay the major headlines cjn bars politicians from his residence uh, and office Say politically exposed lawyers to be re uh, received in secretary um, agents' presence. We never asked federal government for bailout, says government uh, governors. Buhari restricts wife from use of president, uh, presidential jets. Okay. Global ship owners body protest bank uh, ban of tankers. Tension in Niger Delta as Tompolo resuscitates mend. Then. Um, the vice president is speaking. Said Bo it says Boko Haram targets VIPs' homes. Says Oshibanjo. And finally, we felt we were going to die. Photographers reveal ordeal in hands of pipeline vandals. Wow. Um, let me just speak on the lighter story about the president saying that his, um, his wife cannot use the presidential presidential jet. jet now we're already from the body language of our president we know that we know that he's um he has separated the office of the presidency and he has said that there's no office of the first lady that she's the wife the, even the wife the came she came out and said that i'm not the first lady i'm the wife of the, of president. the president now i feel that we should um, treat state matters as state matters yeah. we should treat the um things that belong to the country as belonging to the country it is meant for the office of the president and for official purposes. However, if the wife is going to represent her husband on a lo in a location, like a then, formal event, formal event, then mm -hmm. it might come into play. But we don't want abuse of power. We don't want impunity. Which and is I'm a happy good, the it's a good is, step yeah, because he's yes. the head and he's taking this step. And I so want it, others it, to and, follow. And I think it will trickle down mm. automatically to governors. Um, they must all follow. Yeah, we don't want convoy follow following what, the wife of Bakewa governors. Why are you smiling? No, but the wife uh, of governors shouldn't be going with convoy now. When you're saying it will trickle down, I saw the governor, a governor and his wife on the entourage to America. No, I am no, saying that. No, that's different now. And we don't know if it's story. It's a different story, Waiki. No, I, I don't. Moving on. They are still on honeymoon. But you know they are still on honeymoon. But they are still on honeymoon. On our state's money. No, but how are you sure they are different money? Let's watch the vanguard. It might not be state's money now. We don't have facts on Our next paper, major headline, why Buhari will probe only Jonathan's government presidency says it's, um, it's, um, it's, it will be a distraction to go beyond immediate past government. We are not against selective probe of our members, says PDP. Commend Buhari for his courage, Junior Mohammed says. Um, Boko Haram, step up action, PDP governors tells Buhari and the military. Um, we are yet to receive bailout promised by Buhari government lament. Boko Haram, targeting VIPs, houses, Oshibanjo raises alarm. This we are yet to receive bailout promised by the federal government. Anybody has a story? Yes, I read the story, but I'm more interested in why Buhari will not prove um, why he Beyond, will um, governor, um, ex president Jonathan. He was saying his um, media, I think that their communication team, they're more reactive than proactive. What advice, they should give more information than react to questions. Anyways, Femi Adesino was saying that it will take a lot of resources mm -hmm. and waste a lot of time and effort to start to go beyond uh, 10 years, going all the way back to 1960 or 1977, that the, the last administration handed over to them. 
So they are going to probe the last administration and not go beyond that mm. for obvious reasons. True. And I totally agree. What we need to do is to create the institutions, empower them, the judiciary, the EFCC, the ICPC to do their work. So that when he too leaves office, the institutions will also probe his own government. Let's lay the foundation now, but let's not focus so much on it. You're running after Babangida uh, or Basonjo and all the governments before that. Which is that. true. I think I totally agree with that. Let's focus move on. on governance. Yeah, let's move on to the next um, paper. Daily Sun, major headline. Boko Haram targets rich um, Nigerians. We haven't spoken about that. The vice president raises the alarm over the plots to bomb VIPs' homes. NLC to demand 90,000 Naira mm -hmm. minimum wage. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'll probe only Jonathan's government, um, Buhari, uh, and the picture and of the, the picture. photographer. I want to talk about the photographers. Ah, okay. Please. I need that to talk about them because very they are, they are, the story was gruesome. They, yes, they are so. a testimony. And the, 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 let me explain what happened. Mm. Now, we heard the explosion took place um, um, two days ago. Yeah. And we caught the explosion was based on a pipeline that was vandalized. And the photographers work with the Sun newspaper, and they went there to take pictures of what took place. Yeah. And when they got there, a bike took, when they, they were supposed to take a bike to that area in Arepo. Arepo is actually very close to this place. Mm. Now, they were told that as they arrived, four men looking really, really fierce, picked them up and carried them into a boat and they were transferred from one boat to the other. And they landed in a very, very thick forest-like place with Whoa. over 300 people dressed like in military um, really? uniform. Yeah, like they were really really so what happened to them now they said they were they were going to kill them nobody goes into this place and comes back alive everybody that comes there that they have military they, they are police officers that have been killed dead bodies and all that and that they were going to kill them that they were from the them they were from the government they kept screaming and saying no we are just photographers photo we are photographers and um, please see our ID, our ID card and all that and they said they were praying and the guy said, stop praying. Prayer wouldn't help you right now. We're going to kill you. And one man just came, I mean, um, one, one, a tall man came and told them that they will rescue them, mm -hmm. that sing for me. And that the guy just said he was just singing nonsense. And somebody just, he, they got released wow. out of that traumatic situation. Um, the guy said his camera, what, 600,000 naira was um, taken from him. His phones, another camera was, what, 300,000 taken. The most important thing is that they are alive. But this is a major, it's a major eye issue. opener and because the security even, officials need to be And the, the uh, militants were saying, oh, this, uh, we are, uh, the federal government is not doing anything for us. Mm. They want to take away our only means of livelihood. Mm. And who are you? Don't come here again. No. So warn your people, don't come here again. Wow. So Three that place is our federal government really and the women, need to, they need to look when they were this. taking them, the women were crying, putting wow. their hands on their head. Ah, this people, Sad. they won't come back again. No. That, so they've taken many and they've killed like many that. military people. People too. There yeah, they said as so. well. Uh, let's move on to our um, next paper, The Guardian. Ah, we cannot miss the pictures of this <laughs> fine, fine, handsome man. <laughs> Major headline Amnesty. Again, tension mounts in Niger Delta. And um, Buhari will probe only Jonathan's government. And it's day 466 of Bring Back Our Girls. Let's just quickly take the last paper, then we'll talk about... Um, the amnesty. Yeah, the amnesty. Um, this day, final paper for today, Buhari fails to seal U.S. arms deal. Ooh. Return home um, displ uh, displaced. Boko Haram captures uh, five local governments in Yobe, Borno, and targets VIPs. Global ship owners protest Nigeria's ban on 113 crude carriers. Presidency will limit probe to Jonathan's government. So you were talking about the amnesty. Yeah, the, we'll take two Quickly. stories. I'll do the amnesty and she'll take the No, just the amnesty is fine. Um, the amnesty, um, there are issues with the amnesty because the, the statement was that um, based on the fact that the, the administration has not appointed a new minister, yeah. the payment of um, allowances to the people hasn't been done for the past three months. Mm. Now, Tom Polo, who um, is also, is also um, one of the head of mm. MEND, mm. has called on a meeting for all the previous uh, militants to come together and let's talk. One of the discussion is based on the fact that Jonathan's administration is the only one they want to probe and is going to affect them. And two, the contract which was given to him to, gra to guard our waterways has been revoked. Well, talk about, I read this story. <laughs> I have very strong reservations about it, but we don't have time. <laughs> That's all we can take on front page review. Um, Hot Topics is next, and is 100% honesty in relationship truly the best? Hmm. Okay, well, stay with us. We'll be right back.
right. According to Linda Ikeji's blog, a certain man broke off his engagement to his fiancée after she admitted to having had an abortion at age 19. This happened after the husband-to-be asked her about her past and she willingly opened up to him. Unknowingly to her, that would be the end of the relationship. Now we're asking, is 100% honesty in a relationship ideal? Should one open up to your spouse about your past? Hmm. To give us your view, <laughs> you can call us at 070-8066-8014. Or you can tweet to us at Your View TVC. All the ladies will be reading your tweet today. This is a very old one. It's a very <laughs> juicy, 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 juicy topic. Two things. Okay, talk about, let's go. <laughs> um, pardon my, I think the girl is, I don't want to use the word, stupid but I, i'll say the girl Naive? is not wise mm. and i'll say the man is immature um wisdom like i said yesterday is profitable to direct um i think that a lot of men demand and ask for honesty but they cannot handle the truth, truth. when you wow. tell them That's a true. lot of men they can't handle it so as a woman and you're supposed to keep your home, keep your relationship, not your relationship into marriage. You should be wise to, to um, filter the information that goes to him. What is important for me in any relationship, and I feel is that you're honest at that point in time. I believe that in relationships, you should tell, let him know, I have a past. I'm not pure, I'm not holy, I have a past, but it's in my past. What is important is that everything I do henceforth, you know about it. But going to the past, men can't handle it. And it really, those men, they can't handle it because they are not holy. <laughs> yes. Um, you okay? I agree that men are unable to handle honesty mm. because my life is an example of that honesty does not pay. I do not have any reasons to lie to anybody for whatever reasons because mm. I don't lie to God. Why should I be afraid to tell you the truth? But lots of people are unable to handle the truth. But what happens after I've told you the truth, if you come asking about my past, asking, I would tell you the truth. And if you're unable to handle it, then it has become your problem. Uh -uh. But yes. if you love the person. Hold on. If I love you. And you know that I let her finish. And uh. you are unable to handle my past. Yeah. You are not the right man for me. There's just one man uh. out of seven billion on earth. Listen, you if you anyway. don't tell the man that you had an abortion, and then at the point of pregnancy, he finds out that you had an abortion. Your foundation is already faulty. Mm. He can still break up with you. Preach on, Jimoke. Mm. <laughs> no, but I'll contradict. Listen, it. listen Let her when he knows the truth up front, mm -hmm. if he cannot handle it and he walks away, that's one person out of seven billion on earth that was made for you, who can handle your truth, who God created exactly for hey, you she's to preaching. meet your situation, your need, and your person will come. <laughs> but, 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 mm, talk about calm down. Now, in all honesty, what Jumoke has said, what is your take on it? Because I think it is best to lay the cards on the table. That's mm. my own. Because if your husband finds out it halfway Later. into the marriage, mm -mm. don't you think it poses more problem for you? Isn't Why does he want to know? Excuse me, can, can I... Why let's hear your view. Can I ask you if um you don't i'm, I'm not saying volunteer information uh -huh. if you are asked you must oh, tell it's, the a, truth. it's a different thing that's all but there's no need to volunteer I, a, I i will not volunteer but information. in the case yeah. study he she, she he asked her and for me you see what, what so what would point, you have done if if i if i'm asked point black a question i don't want to answer i'll ask him why do you want to know can you uh -uh. do the truth there was a reason he asked they went for look they were about to get married they were engaged so they, they went for medical tests Mm. And then after the test were done on mm. their way home, mm. he then said to her, I have done see, no, two, two girls done, have done abortion for me. Hold where, on. That's my point. Mm -hmm. You see, men who the reason people cannot handle honesty is because lies they are, bad people. They, they are the lies are the easiest sin. Because especially when you're lying, you're the one who knows that you're not lying. I didn't say lie. Oh, listen, I said wisdom listen. is profitable. profitable. So what would you have done filter, in her case? No, the can, comments. No, can, can I filter what you're saying? Mm. Can I say, you don't go see, saying that I had no. 10 boyfriends listen. and I only slept with five of them. You Talk don't tell that to your boy, to somebody you're about dating. Talk that where? is detrimental to your relationship. Talk where? That man is not a good man. Because two women have had abortions for him. Mm. Exactly. And... If you didn't the, marry those ones, uh, not and, the and you said those women were married already, really? uh, were already married, so their own husbands could manage what, what their past, uh, their past. He cannot manage, so he is not a good man. Yes, now. And I think 
She, I, I think she did the right She's thing. She's better off without him. She's better off without him. That's all. If he could do that, and, and people have already had abortions for him, he is the hypocrite. In this relationship, what happened actually, like I said, the first word I said was that the girl is not wise. The man is no, very, he, very selfish. No. He now, what her. I feel is, usually men can't take the truth when in the, if you can't meet someone and in the first few months, you just tell the person, oh, like I said, I had 10 boyfriends. I dated widely and I only slept with five of them and I had like two abortions. Take me or leave me. That's, that, that's not, no, that's but not that was wise. Not the now, case what I feel, case study what I feel is, let's, when you fall in love with the person, the person, yes. if there is no medical complication based on the abortion you did, which is wrong. But what would but you if prefer? There's, if, there's, if there isn't any medical complication based on it, and you've done it, yes. and he asks you, not that you volunteer and say, oh, sweetheart, I had clinical. If he has, I ask you one-on-one, -on -one, tell you find out from him clearly if he can cope with the information you give him. Okay. In this case, the man lured her into say, admitting into something, because the man made her feel comfortable. The man told her that, so you put about abortion for me, I'm not bothered, I'll forgive <laughs> you, just tell me. That man was looking for something uh, else. Oh yeah. Let, let's take a call. What is our husband <laughs> safe? All these men. Hola, Papa, Papa. Good morning. Welcome uh, to the show. Good morning. My credit is Bonnie. Good yeah. morning. Sorry, we are so good sorry. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Uh, and uh, then the other lady there, James and uh, Mark and uh, Auntie Yemi. Yeah, good morning. Uh, good morning. They are all looking beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, my colleague said, um, I say your husband will have to take a security for you before somebody starts intruding and thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell you See, that. Like what we are talking about yeah. this morning. What I want us to understand is this. Like I said in one video program some couple of years, and my friend was looking at me when I made that statement. What was the statement? I said to tell, you say that there is nothing you cannot tell your partner is foolishness. Because there are some things that you may not be able to handle. Mm -hmm. I say, for example, if my uncle did not want me to marry my wife, then I will now go and tell that my, wife, my wife that, look, my partner, if this uncle does not want me to marry, automatically you have quit immunity. Yeah. Because there's no way you see that person as a good person. Mm. You understand? So it is it is immaturity at times when people just throw up the air, not recognizing the other person that may not have the ability to handle those things. Information are powerful. So I don't want to talk more than this, but the fact is that you should be very careful. There are some things you just give the chief of okay, ah, this is what happened, but you don't give some whole story because the other person may not able to undo it. Sure. And you will be able to handle something. So sure. we, I guess I will be better ability. Thank you. Let me quickly respond no. to Ola. <laughs> Let me quickly respond to him. If my husband doesn't tell me that there is an uncle that doesn't like me, mm. he's cheating you. Because I may be warming up to this uncle but without you knowing the fleecing. He's helping I you. Had, look, look. Maturity is key in any marriage. Mm -hmm. That's he like mentioned that. Immature. Listen, if he tells me and I know, it allow it helps me no. package myself no. in the presence um, of this uncle that doesn't okay. like me. Can I? Can I? It's better for me to know. I, I agree. Honestly, is, is the know. best policy. Hundred percent. Honestly, it is better best for me to know. Best policy. Hey, <laughs> yes. but, 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 but why? See this honesty we're talking about, eh? Let me just play a scenario. That because sorry, the, the, sorry, uh, Tucker, hold your thought. Let's quickly take a call. Yakub, are you there? Good morning, sir. Uh, I'm there. Oh, uh, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for calling. Good morning. 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 A, a guy went to my office, and then this girl, she told me that, see, I'll have you come home. There is a guy, he's, he's dying for me now, right now. And then I've had an issue before, when, he, when she was GSS3. And then that time, the little boy is around eight years old. And then she don't want to tell this guy that she's already had an issue. And then this guy is already on his way to marry this girl. I said, come. It's better for you to tell this, girl, this guy that you already have issues. Failure to do this. When these guys come to know that you have, have issues, that is the end of the marriage. He That's said, all. You cannot do that. Oh. I said, okay, I will do that for you. I but, told this guy, I said, what child, do you yes. think this guy can do for you not to marry her? He said, hey, you don't think anything. I said, come. What about if this guy has already had an issue before? He said, ah, issue? She will tell me. Now, if you don't tell me, that's the end of the marriage. Uh -huh. I said, no problem. And so if she finally tell this guy, and then the guy said, okay, why did you choose to go to meet Alaji before me? She ah. said she was afraid. And then that is her. And then the guy went ahead and married her. So ah. the honest is the best. 
Thank you. Thank you. I, I, wait, I want to draw an attention from what Yakub said. But I'm happy he brought that issue. I have a, a, a relationship that I, I'm aware of, uh, like um, a family re, um, friend. Mm -hmm. Now, this family friend laid all the cards on the table mm. to this woman. He told her every nitty gritty that she needed to know. Mm -hmm. You know what she did? She mm. used she, it against she, him. No, she didn't use it. Like, I'm not saying she used it against like, him. She calmly accepted it. Oh, no. The God Lord, be well done. Him. Let me finish uh -huh. my talk. Uh -huh. She now <laughs> accepted everything. I said, eh, ah, no, no problem. I agree. I take every, all the responsibility, everything. She's inside this marriage and giving this man hell. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because the, you know, I mean, sometimes it would it not why be she, better why, why if the man had just said you know what no. this is the only information i want to pass to you uh -huh. he laid all the cards but on she the table would have found in that out. case what would she do wait, can, wait, I, wait, can i just say something why tell let us. me speak from my age yes because at, when i was your age Jumoke, mm. or talk by your age mm. when, if i had a boyfriend every single thing i would tell him my past mm. my past boyfriends uh -huh. i would tell him this 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 that 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 was the way i acted then with in maturity. hindsight, now with maturity, mm -hmm. if talk you truth. ask me, I will tell you the truth. Yeah, I will not volunteer. I will not say, ah, talk by come. Let me give you the boyfriend this. I did it. Mm -mm. I will keep quiet. But if you ask me, or if I meet, uh, I went out with this person. Okay. I, I, I prefer for you to know yes. than for you not to know. Mm. Let why me tell it? you why. Because I, I don't want to. I don't want you to think find you're riding a horse and then you find out that it's a cockroach. <laughs> why it's true. Why mm. I also don't want you to find out in a way that will shock you. Exactly. No, listen. No, hold on. Talk about everybody. Everybody knows you have a past. Everybody knows you have a past. I admit to him. What if I, I don't have a, a past? I have a past. I dated before. Things have happened I don't want to think about. And I lay it on the table. That's what I'm laying. I'm not laying the list of people I, I, had, I dated or the list of things I did. I will lay the table that, sweetheart, I have a past. Do you love me? Yes. Let us marry. Talk don't ahead. ask me the number of abortions I did. Don't Talk ask me the number of people I slept Talk with. Ahead. Just love Talk me for ahead. who I am Talk and ahead. I'll be faithful to you from today. Talk you don't ahead. care about my past. Talk it is the future no, that matters. Let, let, let's you want take, to take a call. A phone call. Yes. Okay, Sorry. Go ahead. I think Delphine from um, Apa Five Farm, correct. Good morning, my Okay, Johnson, Mr. Johnson, good, good morning, morning, sir. Uh, you see, uh, it is very good to talk the truth at the early stage of our marriage. You see, uh, the four of you over there, some are opposing it, some are supporting the good side of it. But to be frank, the four of you there, uh, I'm not accusing one or two might have aborted before marriage. You see, uh, we have to be frank with ourselves. Mm. Hey, women and uh, men affairs is only God's holding. If you are a girl, somebody wants to marry you, and you have trust in yourself, and you love that boy, if the boy asks you any question about yourself, your your past. If you are truthful, you tell him. Yes. If he doesn't want to marry you, let him go away. God exactly. will take your control. That is it. That's but all. I am sure, I am sure that out of the four of you, there must be an abortion among you there. Before okay, you marry. thank you, sir. <laughs> now, now <laughs> wait, wait. What, we, what we should say to men yeah. is if you cannot handle the truth, don't ask. Mm. Don't ask. Talk, man, if I ask you, I want to marry you, have you ever had an abortion? And you tell me no. And then, and then, you then find this, out, yes. and then I found out that there was an incision during an abortion that you had that cannot make you pregnant. The way I will beat you. No, do you okay? Who beat Listen, you? I don't want to be discussed. I did not say lie. Out your bag. I didn't say lie. What did you say? I said oh, filter. No. No, I, didn't say no. I didn't say lie. No. No. I didn't say lie. Do you okay? The point we are driving. I didn't say lie. We said I didn't say lie. Hey, I say say the truth if they ask you, but filter the truth. What's filter the truth? And I gave an example. The truth remains the truth. Listen, it never changes. I gave an example. I said I would ask him, yeah. can you handle the truth when you hear it? What if he and I'll tell him yes. I have a past. Okay, yeah, accept me the way I am. But if he insists, he, he then we will now. Yeah. If you, if yes, now if he now insists, I will tell him. If at that point he now says he cannot handle it, then he then walks it's not away. good for me. Yeah. But I will not so just be stupid and just blindly say everything. Let's take tweets. Yusuf says, my girlfriend told me I was her first just because she loved me so much not knowing my sister know about her past boyfriend was you i got to know <laughs> was really angry ibit olani peter says if we dig into the past of most girls please most of them won't get married because no man wants a girl wild girl for a wife Fumilola, Ade, Ade Bari says the past always has a way of catching up with the future true save the day 
save your life by saying honesty it. is a godly wisdom Os Osai says there is no middle point to honesty filtering like talk said isn't being truthful if anyone can't handle your past good for you move on Abiodua <laughs> Folayo says, if a man leaves you because you told him your past, he's just trying to let you know he's not matured enough to have you. That's well, all. Um, yep. P says, Chokpe, how can the girl be unwise and the man immature at the same time? And why is Jumoke generalizing all men as she usually yeah. does? Can I, can I, can I, can I say my final, final word on this? I think I totally agree with 100% honesty. The truth is that every girl knows your worth. If the man, if you tell the man your past and he cannot handle it, he's let him walk away. Husband. He's not meant for you. That's so that all. you don't have a troubled marriage. That's all. all right, that's all we can take on Hot Topics. Next, um, our celebrity guest takes the couch. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Oh, welcome back. Nigerian singer Femi Adeyinka, popularly known as Capital Femi, is an accomplished and versatile R&B vocalist and songwriter. He discovered his talent for singing while in college at the United States of America. He also won the award for Best Male Vocal Performance at the 2011 Hedis Award. Welcome to our studio, Capital Femi. Hey. <laughs> So uh, I, was just, I was just asking him before the um, before we came on live. Are mm -hmm. you nervous? Um, a bit. I'm a bit nervous, but I, I'm okay now. Uh, I, I'm definitely okay. <laughs> uh, especially from the hot topic conversation you were having, I was like, ooh. Well, really? What's your take on that? <laughs> um, the, the take for me on be just be honest. Just tell your partner. Would there you really, ask? Talk about, okay. I ask for One. Your opinion. Would you ask? The, the, this. <laughs> all right. Okay. This is it for me. If I don't want to know, I want to ask, ask you. Thank you. For me, I don't want to know how many people you slept with. Exactly. I don't want to know who, what you did, because I can't oh, take it. True. Personally, as honest. a man, I can't take it. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of men, we, say, we think we could take your past, but we can't. And a lot of you women, oh. too, you think you can take I, I our don't, past, don't but you can't. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. I, 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 you, uh, don't, don't ask. ask. I, don't ask. I, don't ask. Uh, me, don't I ask. want to know. Fantastic. <laughs> I, me, I, don't so, want, I really don't I want, want to know. I want to know. Let's come back to you. Who is Capital Femi? Capital Femi is uh, Olu Femi Olaji Pupo Idenika. Okay. Um, originally from Ogun State, Abekuta, Egba. Mm. Uh, mm. My, mo my dad is Abekuta, my mom is Ijebu, so I'm Ogun State all, totally, yeah. totally, <laughs> all the way around. Yeah, I don't have cast. I don't have cast at all. <laughs> um, it's, uh, for me, when you say Capital FMI, let's take it away from me, Idenika. You know, as a musician, mm. um, I grew up in, I grew up in, I was born in Nigeria, I was born in Lagos. Mm. A lot of people think, oh, he was born in Yankee. No, I was born here in Lagos. But it's just I was privileged at a very, very young age. My dad is a former pilot uh, for, for when Nigerian Airways was Nigerian Airways. Uh, so um, I, you know, my dad sent myself, my siblings sent us off to the States. So that's where music really started for me. And my genre of music that I love is R&B music. Hmm. How has uh, it been singing R&B in Nigeria? Oh, we want to just shake bum bum here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I stepped into the industry in 2009. And since then, I have to say I've been blessed with wow. a lot of things going on. R&B is not the front runner genre in this side of the world. Yes. Let's, let's not even, it's not just Nigeria. I think a lot of times we think it's Nigeria that, I think all around in Africa, R&B is not the front runner. But what I tell a lot of people is R&B is in everything. Mm. R&B is in Afro pop. Mm. R&B is in hip hop. R&B is in rock. R&B is in everything. So, um, so far so good. So far, so good. I'm just loving this, your accent. Yes. If I can, why can I Why can I just Why can No problem. I am being our business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, I, 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 I will sit with you after the show. No, no, no problem. No, why can No problem. It's, not, it's just, like you were right in my head, as if. You, you, yeah, you, I want to you, start you talking were. like you. Mm -hmm. Anyways, let me ask the controversial questions. You have left Kenny's music. You were there for several years? I, I was there I was there for about, I'll say five years. Five and years. you have left? Yes, I'm Why? no longer. Why? What happened? Actually, nothing happened. Um, it, it's it's one of those nothing things. Happened. Nothing happened. And, I, and, I, and, so and I'll say why. why? I, the reason I say why nothing happened is it, it, uh, there, there comes a time in your life mm -hmm. that you have to make life decisions. decisions. It's not about career decisions. It's not about, oh, music. Myself and my former label CEO, Dr. Kenny Ogunbe, we still have a great relationship. It's, it's just about, I sat down with him, and it was about, okay, this is where I'm in my life. There's some things I need to do in my life. Mm. And he gave me his blessings. He's like, do you know what, Femi? Go 
do what you need to do for your life. Mm -hmm. And do that's you, it. Do you have like a second, another source of income because you see um, music, people making money from music, it yeah, flunks with it. You it have your seasons it. and then you have times that you don't. Do you have something else that you do yes, that brings in? Yes, I do. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's an honor and I have privileged that, you know, my older brother is Bingar Dega and he does a lot of production. So I'm part of the production team for Ooh. his TV program. Mm. So that's I, that's, that's another thing I do on the side. So basically everything's entertainment for me. Yeah. Okay. Now they say you are, um, a lot of people have tagged you the Nigerian king of R&B. Uh, Is that so true? How do you react to this title? Okay, truthfully, um, I, 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 I don't go with the title things. It's an honor if anyone says that, mm. but I really believe if you say king of R&B, what happened to Paul Play? Wow. Okay. For me personally, I think he's the true king of R&B. And we had him on our couch last you know, week Paul, Friday. Paul, uh, you know, <laughs> so if you're calling me the king of R&B and I'm only five, six years in, <laughs> someone like Paul Plate has been in, in the industry decades. Um, mm. uh, That's so by mentioning Paul, Paul Plate, sorry, you, because it's, you, yes, I, it, I like it's very important you. when you, you're able to understand where you are and give respect, even yeah. if you feel you deserve it, giving it to who. Yeah, but, but I, you know, mentioning our, um, Paul Plate, I, yeah. like who are your um, mentors, mentors who, who inspired you to, you know, go into R&B? R&B. Yeah. Uh, because I grew Both locally and locally, okay. Because I grew up in the states. Yeah. A lot of my influences are from the states. Okay. But here in our beautiful country, you have Paul Play. Okay. You have Two Face of Dibia, definitely. Fantastic. I like the early stuff from Two Face of Dibia. Do love, you like love, Diary? love. Yeah. I like Diary. Definitely like Diary. Um, and then also I like Banky W. Aha! Too. I was looking for the name. <laughs> you know, I definitely <laughs> I, 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 I'm a boy Yoruba now. Ah! So, 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 so. Ah. Ko, 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 Yoruba means ko, ko bad, ko flow, but okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. your accent. I'm wondering how you can now shock Yoruba. Yeah. Yeah. You see, I'm just, a lot of... A lot of I, but I do, you think, me, do you I'm, think in your I'm local... Yes. Do you I'm have any songs um, in I'm local... Yes, I do. Sorry. I'm, how would I say mesmerized in your accent? Mesmerized. I'm mesmerized. You're mesmerizing my I'm mesmerized. mesmerized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why can't we not let us do this interview today? <laughs> She's enjoying herself, I think. Uh, so what are you doing um, presently now? Presently, right now, I've uh, taken the independent route. Um, I'm my own uh, CEO uh, <laughs> under my own imprint. 3-6 music with a few of my partners okay. and also t actually today we drop our first single Whoa, off, the, nice. uh, off the uh, label imprint titled Tumbo. Whoa. Oh. Yes. Okay. So, Tumbo. Tumbo. That's a clue that there's a Yoruba it's, it's, slang inside. What, what does Tumbo because uh, Tumbo okay. means uh, that fly that bites you. So what is your own Tumbo? Okay. Our, our Tumbo is uh, it actually came from when I was in the studio recording with the producer that uh, produced the song uh, VTech. You know when you take a rock Mm. And you throw it into water. Mm. Tumbo. Oh. So tumbo is actually an expression of a deep love. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah. So that's mm. that's what. So it's we something gotta, really. That's it's some something thing. very R&B thing. Are you thing. deeply in love? Anybody? I'm, 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 am I deeply in love? Yes, I am. Wow. Oh, yes, there's someone. Yeah, there ah, so someone. what's your so what's your, your you, love you, language like? Ah, my you, love language. Don't hear his mm. language. You, you, you were speaking like that to your. My darling. Like like you like what do you like you know what's your what's the best part about being in this R&B business for you? What's the best thing about being in this R&B thing is um. The best thing is actually going through the rough. And the reason I say that, it's not easy. Let's, mm -hmm. let's, let's, let's put it out there. Uh, the, 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 our industry we're in is not easy. And it's not easy because for a lot of different reasons. And you know. I know. You know. <laughs> I know. So, I, 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 but, <laughs> but I really feel the beauty is you keep roughing it yeah. till something so it happens. And, and it does get better. Yeah. Uh, a, lot, a lot of times you, you see a lot of very talented musicians in Nigeria just mm. give up too early. Uh, mm. okay. yeah. Sorry, let's quickly take a call. Um, good morning, I, Tamuno, um, are you there? From I, Bagada. I, my name is Tamuno. Tamuno, Uwa. good morning. Jimoke. Good morning. I'm seeing yeah, me, I love you guys. Thank good morning. You. Um, I don't know if I can still talk about the last topic, but wait till I can tell me. But very quick one, Jim, okay, you're fantastic. You're 100% honesty. Hey, I told my husband everything when we're getting married, and your husband will always defend you if he knows everything about you. Yeah. Sure. And Femi. Femi, yeah? Yes. That is it. <laughs> oh, she, what did she say? She loves you? 
I, I love you too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My husband, not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Tamuno. Okay. Oh, you I have another colleague. Oh, you wanted to talk. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. So you said the, the best thing about being um, um, an R&B singer for you is uh, it's you know the rough part, but also when you for me is when I'm on stage. Okay. I, I love being on stage mm, because you, you said um, too many musicians give up too early, yeah. and I was going to say you know it's because they have to survive. True. And when True. the you know I I know this guy he's been playing Afrobeat for a long time and. He, he calls me to ask me for money because he, he can't, he's finding it so difficult. Nice, nice. Really I have some really tweets. Nice. Can I take okay, some? Yes, 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 please. I have Capital Femi. Um, sorry. Uh, I turn it up for you, Baba. One of the best R&B artists you. in Nigeria, that Nigeria ever produced. Wow. Bigger, bigger you, Baba. Tombo is the bomb. And <laughs> someone says, coincidentally, I just played Capital um, at Capital Femi Tombo 20 minutes ago. Whoa. Tight song, big ups, Femi. Thank you. Meanwhile, try to tune down that accent, Joe. Ah. <laughs> no, accent. Oh, no, don't worry. We love it. Ah, I'll tune it down. Omojudu <laughs> 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 Odewale okay. says, for true R&B lovers of soul, Capital Femi makes it real for us. Great and awesome talent. Thank the you. cool Femi says, I like your guest, celebrity, your celebrity guest, do my namesake. Your show is lively as it is every day. Right. Um cool. Ola Yemi says, Well done, Ua. You are doing well. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to fill in Morayo's shoes. <laughs> um uh, okay, so now let's talk about the commercial angle okay. of this uh, uh, music matter. Uh -huh. How is it um for you? How has it been for you? I okay. For me, and uh, that's why being independent, the big thing is, I, I think we forget something. It's about monetizing your work. Okay. Um, we f we, a lot of times, we musicians, we get caught up in the singing, the recording, but we forget we're in the business of making music. Mm. And when, once you understand the business of making music, you find ways to monetize your music. Mm. And monetizing your music, there's a lot of different ways to do it now. Mm. The internet, you, the internet is your friend. There's so many different websites, uh, uh, different um, uh, uh, portals you can put your songs in. I mean, I don't, I don't want to mention a Have few. Have you tapped here. into all of those resources? Yes, yourself? I've tapped into all. Today, as you speak, as we speak right now, Tumbo is on all those portals today Fantastic. for you to download. And actually, because the truth about it, studio is not cheap. Mm. Mm. Paying a producer is not cheap. Mm. Promotion, not promoting cheap. your song is not cheap. True. And we are getting in, airplay. Getting it's, airplay mm -hmm. is uh, it, getting airplay is a different ball game. It's oh. a different one. Yeah, I don't even want to. It's a totally different about, ball game. Tell me about it. It's, 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 <laughs> I, I, okay, we, can, we, can, we can talk about this all day. Yeah, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. I'm, 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 you know what? Why yeah. can't we have, have a call? <laughs> This DJ is so, hey, look, for me to play. Anastasia, are you there? <laughs> My Anastasia goodness. is American right now. <laughs> <laughs> Anastasia, are you there? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Don't good mind morning. working. She's wanting to your credit, too. Oh. All right, I'm a first time caller. Oh! Hey. I want to thank you for all the, all the discussion. You guys are trying. May God bless you. Thank, thank you. you. I want to talk about the previous uh, issue about honesty. Okay. Mm -hmm. The truth is love, don't judge. Mm -hmm. Who is the man to judge you? Mm -hmm. You love him, that is why you tell him your past. I want to use mine as an example. Mm -hmm. I was a rape victim oh. from the man that's supposed to be my husband. Yeah. But today I am happily married to another, and the first time I met him, I told him all about it. And today as I talk with you, we are friends, brothers, sisters, soulmates. He never... Oh, oh fantastic. Cool. Fantastic. Wow. Okay. Um, uh, so we were talking about the DJs, you know. Anyway, <laughs> what do they do going, to us? Going back but to But there are some what? tweets. <laughs> Let's read some tweets. Uh, can I just read some tweets? It says, Cruz, um, Cruz, there's something I want to ask Capital Femi. Tell us how you felt about featuring Idris in one of your popular, uh, in featuring on one of his popular tracks, I Got the Money. Yeah, my, uh, actually, uh, one, one of my popular songs is Money, Money, Money. Mm. I got money, money, money. Mm. I got money, money, money. Hey. I've got money, money, money. Hey, man, I got money, money, money. I want to spend it on you. Hey. So it, it, was, it was just one of those songs. Uh, working does. with <laughs> someone like Idris Abdul Karim. Idris, for me, you can't talk about hip-hop 
in this Kim. part of the world mm -hmm. without Idris Abdul Karim. He's Very the true. godfather of hip hop in Nigeria. True. Uh, I mean, I, I, I definitely love the MIs, the ice sprints, but let's, I, I think sometimes um, it hurts. One thing that hurts here in this side of the world, we forget our legends. Uh, very easily. He's not a legend yet, though. He's not a legend yet, but well, we. saying. But, 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 yeah. but, but if well, you. They, they started hip hop. They are the set that started hip hop. They started hip hop. In Nigeria. And mm. if you look back in the States, when they do their award shows, they honor them. They, they put them yeah, on a different. The they even help their career to kick start it again. Yeah. Yes. Because they know without them, there's they would not no hip hop. Like for mm -hmm. me, if there's no Paul Play, I, I, uh, there's no Two Face of Dibia. I mean, come, uh, if there's no fella, mm. let's keep it real. Would a lot of us know Nigerian music like we, if there was no King Sonia Ade, mm. Obe? I mean, I grew up listening to Ebenezer Obe because my grandmother <laughs> loved him. Ebenezer Obe. Mm. <laughs> so it's, we, we, need to, we need to always remember, remember those them. who were there before. So, us. What, what are we expecting uh, from you, like um, the next five years? Next five years, uh, truthfully, I, I'm not going to sing forever. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this I, voice? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 this I, voice? I feel for me five years from now, I'd like to pour what I have into someone else. Fantastic. That's fantastic. Okay, that's, that's a true leader. To round up the that show, is spoken, uh, because one tweet okay. says, um, don't let Capital Femi leave this seat without singing. Uh, he has yes, sing. so, that's, why, uh, that's why we need to quickly round up love the show. his voice. <laughs> so, uh, that accent. I want, I want to say thank bring, you so much. Bring for, on your egg, uh, Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Um, don't forget to watch a repeat broadcast of our show at 9 p.m. You can also watch previous episodes on YouTube. Go to YouTube slash TV Entertainment and search for your view. You can also catch us on Google+. Plus. Just search for TVC Entertainment. Remember, we are going to be live Monday morning. We've had a sensational time, so he's going to take us out. Okay, um, if, if you don't mind, if I can hold this up. It's no all problem. about this today, mm -hmm. Sumo. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and let, me, let me start off. I'll give you the first verse of Tumbo. And I have to sing it to, I don't know. I, She's not married. She's not married. You are guys mesmerized. And I have to say to you. Oh, but I love this song. So nice. Oh, okay, uh, if I could sing two boys, that yeah, right? sing it. All right. Today, oh, today I made a choice. I found the woman that's given me the joy. You're the sun, the morning light. You make my heart go tumbo for you. Hey. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> Remember to watch us 9 p.m. tonight. Bye bye. <laughs>